title. It is a five round, five minute contest. And it is about to start right now. Ladies and gentlemen, your next bout is sponsored by Action 24 seven. It is in the lightweight division. It's scheduled for five, five minute rounds. And it is for your first ever Aries Professional Lightweight Championship. <laughs> Introducing first out of the Allure Properties Blue Corner. He weighed in at 154.1 pounds. He has a professional record of five wins with just one loss. He's representing Nashville MMA out of Nashville, Tennessee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Pat Crompton. And now his opponent, fighting out of the Knoxville Mortgage Brokers Red Corner. He weighed in at 154.9 pounds. He has a record of three wins with three losses. He's representing a Kogi Combatives right here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the real deal, Logan Neal. Pat Crumpton, Logan Neal, let's meet in the middle and let's make this title fight official. Five men for the lightweight Aries Championship. You've been given your instructions. I want you to obey my commands. Keep everything clean. Protect yourself at all times. If you wish to touch gloves, do so now. If not, let's get it. East Ridge, Tennessee. Five, five minute rounds. Let them hear ya. What everyone's been waiting for. Here we go. All done but the fighting. This is the part that will determine our next lightweight the champion. Hay is in the bar, and here it comes. Oh, Logan coming out with a teep kip. And Pat Crumpton coming in with a combination. And, and Pat coming in with his first takedown attempt to Logan Neal as he has him against the cage. Good head position by Crumpton. Wrist control with the left hand. Yep. Dug it up, baby. Good wrist control by Neil. Now Wizard in a frame. Both of these men have held amateur titles in this weight class. Crumpton has grinded on opponents in this way before. Absolutely, as he lands a nice shot into the exit, as Crumpton takes down Neal. Crumpton in the side of Logan. This is good pressure here by Crumpton. You can tell he's just smothering him at this point. This is a pretty, pretty great start for Pat Crumpton. Needs to watch the explosion off the cage. He's walking his feet up. Logan improving on his wrestling and jiu-jitsu a lot over this past year. It will be put to the test here tonight. Absolutely. Pat takes that underhook on the far side. We see UFC vet Garrett Gross, cage side, giving extra pointers to Logan Neal. Great job of Crumpton to grapevine the legs. Pack does a great job of putting those legs together and huddling up and crawl, but Logan doing a great job on getting back up and landing that hard, hard knee against Pat Crumpton. This type of fight is, is just suffocating. Yes, yeah, it's gotta be. Staying all Absolutely all right. Crumpton looks to be in great shape and probably can continue to chain these sequences together. 
Logan doing a great job on that oh. defense as he axes out and stuns Pat Crumpton. That was some very fast hands there by Absolutely. Logan Neal. Pat recovered from it well, but I think that, that shined him a little bit. As we see Pat again trying to take down Logan Neal and Logan having Pat against the cage and they're exchanging knees. Great Lo reversal. Uh, yeah, Logan making good angles here, putting Pat against the cage. <clears throat> Pat clenches up again. with his cage dominance, underhook, head position, landing shots, wait for him to probably break and strike and shoot again. That seemed to be what he's been going for so far. Well, there's no doubt about the announcers having the best seat in the house right now. These gentlemen yeah, we are sure right do. in front of us. Absolutely this. right. As we're coming into a minute 20 left of this first round, these guys are definitely not wasting any time. It looks like Crumpton wants to break and strike again, and he's going to reshoot. There it is. Yep. That's happened a couple times here in the first. Yep. Logan doing a great job on defending these takedowns against the cage. Now we see Logan having Crumpton's back against the cage here. Neil, yeah, Neil trying to control yeah. the left hand of Crumpton so he can start striking. And Neil going for the takedown. This has been such a hard fought round one. You can Absolutely. definitely feel the intensity of a title bout. 25 seconds left for the first round. All this cage wrestling so taxing. Both guys' arms are gonna be really fatigued and we've got four more rounds to go. Who do you think that favors? Uh, well, Logan, Logan Neal, if he wants to outstrike him, I think it's gonna affect him more because he's gonna lose the pop in his strikes. Continual grappling is going to favor Crumpton. Wow, big flurry there from Neil on the break. Good These round wins. one. Was that a first round or what? Very exciting first round. We see Pat Crumpton breathing heavy as Logan Neal also indicated that first round was pretty explosive. So there was great action round one. Also a bit of a feeling out situation. Crumpton trying to make his opponent feel his grappling strength. Logan Neal trying to make Crumpton be afraid to just dart in with how fast he can throw hands and knees and elbows. I think Neal doing a great job on stuffing those takedown attempts from Pat Crumpton, which is no easy task. Pat Crumpton having very good takedowns. Both of these fighters show championship caliber skill and heart there in that first round, and I don't expect a letdown in that department anyway. Let them hear you, East Ridge, Tennessee, round two. Neil needs to come out and get on his bike. Lance and strikes and move, can't stay right in front of him. Absolutely. Keep his back away from the cage. Stay on that Aries logo if he can. Logan circling down, wow. Wild spinning. spinning attack just yep. went high. That was a big risk from Neil as he's gonna fight being in this bad position here. Both fighters extremely sweaty that may impact things in the grappling realm. Absolutely. Neil doing a great job on staying calm in these bad positions. Yeah, Logan needs to keep his back up on the cage and not get his back on the floor. That'll keep Crumpton occupied, not be allowed to throw strikes. You see Pat trying to throw some elbows in there, but hard when there's not too much space in there to throw. Neil looking for an escape out the side, which he is successful in wow. as he wow. puts wow. Pat against the wow. wall with the takedown. Wow. What a transition there from Logan Neal. Absolutely. Crumpton builds a vertical base and we're back to a little clinch scenario. Wow, that was a 
fierce knee fired at the bread basket of Pat Crumpton, but he ate it and just continued his mission, which is to get that control, push that grappling pace. Head position and underhook again. Been the story of the fight with Crumpton. We'll see if he wants to disengage, throw strikes, and shoot again for a clean, clean reset on that takedown. Neil again staying wide on this takedown attempt and getting that underhook, which he knew was critical for him. That was a good job from Pat. Sucking him outside of that cage and bringing him back into the ground. This has been the recipe for Pat Crumpton on this four fight win streak he's currently on. Yeah, definitely a bad spot to be with Pat Crumpton. Neil needs to work to get that left underhook back. These are the five minute rounds again. We're two and a half into the second round. It's Pat Crumpton that takes attempts to hit these, these shots on the side of Logan Neal as he's isolating that arm. And as Dylan said, this is a very hard time to do things like that, isolating that arm with all the sweat. <clears throat> this could be a great setup spot for Logan Neal as he's finished quite a few of his fights in triangle. Crumpton's got such a good grappling acumen though, and he seems to be really in control of the grappling sphere. Absolutely, as Logan locks in the triangle, to see if he can maintain this. That is unfortunately not successful. I would have felt bad right there, I kind of queued that one up, but this is great action here, and it's a title fight. Great attempt from Logan as, as Pat is establishing, looks like, oh. Had almost like a baseball rip choke. At this point, it's so hard to hold position with all the sweat. Uh, I can imagine. In, any any space you give to raise up and strike, that guy's usually going. Logan being smart against this cage, showing his experience. Crumpton, yeah, yeah Crumpton, Crumpton I thought he might try for the crucifix, and Neil's gonna have to explode or cause a scramble here. Easier said than done, of course. This is time yeah, for Neil does really not explode. look too worried in this bad, bad position that Pat has him as he's going for a head and arm triangle. What Pat would have to get to the other side if he wants to be successful in that. Neil doing great in these little scrambles as we come into the last 19 seconds of the second round. Not a lot of sting on those punches, but as long as he remains active, he's winning. The it's fight. great optics, yeah. It's great optics in a title yeah. fight. All right, Eastridge, you are getting in all worth in this main In all event. likelihood, Pat Brunson has banked two rounds, round. the first two rounds. That isn't to say Logan Neal has not had his moments, but the control and the grappling pressure from Crumpton has been the story thus far. The good news, if you're somebody who is cheering on Logan Neal, is that each round starts on the feet. And in those little pockets and windows of time where Crumpton has yet to initiate the grappling, we know that Logan Neal's speed and quickness can generate a lot of power, and that's what he's going to need to find, I feel like. Yeah, and Logan already been putting into a couple bad, compromising positions into this fight, and he found him in the second round, uh, locking in that triangle, and just wasn't quite the grip that he needed to put it in as tight as it needed to be. But Neal staying calm, staying collective, as we're coming into here to the third round, not a stranger round for Logan Neal. Crumpton is looking as good as we've ever seen him and building on the successes he's had in his previous bouts here at Aries. Round three coming to us right now. I think it's gonna be an electrifying third round here. As we saw a lot of people predicting the fight to end in this third round. 
Doesn't look like the oh. guy got toweled off. They are so still. Yeah. Yeah, perspiration flying here with every strike that's landed as the clinch has been initiated by Crumpton. And Crumpton again taking Logan to the cage. Logan's gonna need to find an answer for this position. Nice takedown. Crumpton supremely confident in the grappling. And why wouldn't he be? He's having a great deal of success. Logan doing a good job on regaining into a better position than he was in on that side control and doing it quick. And this could be another setup opportunity for Logan on that triangle, dead orchard, or possibly an arm bar. All things that Logan really, really enjoys hitting on people. You see Logan with that Kimura attempt. Oh, and he's got a good angle on it. Does he? He does. He does. Oh. oh. A couple nervous moments there for the Crumpton corner, but right back to top control. Neil probably would have liked to have used that to change position if possible, but Crumpton's just so heavy on top. Now Neil with a butterfly and an underhook. He really needs to look to create space and get back up, not just hold at this point. Yep. Maybe even get the feet on the hips and try and explode. He is throwing some ground strikes here. This left arm over Crumpton's head here is just holding him in position. He's got to work for that underhook. Now you see Pat taking the back, attempting to take the back of Logan Neal. Neil's got to try and turn in and face him here. It looks like Neil's trying for the stand up. As Pat tries to establish a hook there, Logan is turning into him. Crumpton's control is next level. Back to the underhook. You see these longer rounds starting to, to put a toll on both of these athletes. Pace has slowed a little bit here. If I'm on top, I'm not I'm not worried about making the action, picking the action up. I'm in the fight right now. Yep. Neil trying to make a plan to get out of this full mount position that he's in. This is dangerous now as it's a bad spot, but Neil again makes better out of a bad situation as he escapes that full mount position that he was in. Now we see him in kind of a deep half as he's trying to stand up. No, we're not seeing these huge, huge improvements to Neil, but Neil is doing everything he can to, to make Pat work harder and harder as Neil puts the rest of his back and attempts to stand up here against the cage. You see Pat have one hook in as he's attempting to take the back of Neil. Crumpton's one step ahead, it seems like, uh, in these exchanges here as far as the grappling and body position goes. Logan, a very opportunistic fighter, looking for what he can, anything that he can grab onto, whether it being a submission or, as Josh said, really wanting to strike out here, uh, it's just not happening for Logan Neal. Pat finding himself a little high on the back of Neal, seeing a little hand fighting here. Nice transition right in the mount. He's to watch his feet on the cage so he doesn't get bridged off. Big this elbow from Crumpton, another. Uh, Got an Oma Plata on the right side here if you wanted it. Pat Crumpton dominant here in this round. He could really do some more damage with the striking here. I mean, a judge could have a pretext for a 10-8. I know it was very close at the start, but it's been all control for Crumpton here in the third. Pat doing a good job, like you said, taking control of these grappling situations. Logan good, finding good opportunities to sneak out where he can, but Pat doing a great job on keeping control on the ground. Ten second warning here in the third round. As you see Pat trying to grab the neck of Neil. 
Well, a reversal of fortune here in the final 10 seconds of the third. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are headed in a championship round. Logan Neal got back to his feet. In all likelihood, Crumpton has taken the first three rounds with control and grounded pounds. Josh, you're in the corner of Logan Neal. What are you telling Logan here? I'm telling Neal, get on your bike, move, and don't throw big shots like that spinning back that he threw at that one point in the, the last round. Don't do big things like that. You need to pick them apart, land small shots. Anytime he wants to engage in the wrestling, we've seen sometimes where Neil has, has turned and kept Crumpton against the cage, and then he always gets reversed. We need to completely disengage from the grappling and try to outstrike him because he's lost every grappling exchange. So Absolutely. Yeah, I think there's going to be some increased desperation from Logan Neal here in the fourth. And if you're in the Crumpton corner, the message is simple. You've gotten the best of this fight so far by doing what you've done to get yourself to this title fight. Don't okay. deviate now. Logan smiling, ready. This is the rounds that Logan like, these fourth, fifth long rounds. So we're going into the deep water of this fourth round. Neil needs to stay away from the cage, throw a jab. Footwork and distant management, certainly. Mm. Maybe a well-timed knee right here. Crumpton there landed a short left. Just that, that step behind, like you said, he's uh, uh, Crumpton's back in on the underhook and head position. Pat not fighting the maybe exciting fight that the fans want to see, but this is what you need to do to keep a striker like Neil yeah, this at, is at bay. A professional title fight. You got it. Yeah. I don't think you care so much about the fight of the night award. You want to get that belt and all the prestige that goes along with it. Neil exchanging some knees here with Crumpton. I attempted the same takedown he got in the last round, wasn't able to get it. Yeah, I think Neil did a good job on spotting that and, and making those adjustments he needed to. Neil can just hang on here. We might see a break by the referee and let him get a free reset. Pat, again, <laughs> successful with that, that step back, that pull in. The reset never came, but the takedown did for Crumpton. And at this point in the fourth, getting out from underneath him is a pretty tall order here. But Logan Neal already scrambling. Yeah, Neil doing a good job. Oh, this, is these this was what he needed to do. Oh, jumping on a neck there is Crompton. He's to keep that underhook, build back to his knees, and stand up. Pat doing good with these short elbows. Two minutes, 30 seconds left here in the fourth round. Pat looks to make full mount on Logan. There, Logan needs that left underhook, lift with the butterfly and build back to his right knee. Two minutes remaining here in the fourth round. Neil making the attempts he can to get out from underneath the base of oh, Pat Crumpton. He's got a chance Logan here Neal to regain up. a vertical base. Logan stands up. And now we're coming into the deep water here with a minute 30 left to go in the fourth round. Well, in the third round, Logan Neal regained a vertical base and got to his feet with about 10 seconds left. 
This time here in the fourth, he's done it with about a minute 20 to work with. We'll see if he can parlay that in any kind of offense here. He's desperately in need of it. And Pat, obviously, scoring some pretty big takedowns, but with Logan having the ability to stand up from some of these, it does nullify some of these, these takedowns that he's had. Some of them, but Crumpton has just been mauling, both yeah. in the grappling, and he's, he's been utilizing the short shots that maybe don't accumulate the most damage, but, I mean, there it is. You know, that's been going on yep. more than it hasn't been. Pat's been great at finding these opportunities to, to really take it to the face of Logan. Pat looking for another takedown here at the end of the fourth. Big Again time with elbows. The elbows. Pat being vicious with those elbows. Fifteen seconds left in the fourth, and I think the Nashville MMA camp and Pat Crumpton can about taste the Potential title win here that is probably one round away. Yeah, Logan going to be looking for a surprise right, victory here in the last and round. And your main event is going to a fifth and final round. Lightweight gold on the line. The Crumpton camp has got to tell their fighter at this point, just stay the course. A Absolutely. little bit more desperation in the Agogi corner there talking to Logan Neal. It is... Uh, Pull out all the stops time if you're Logan Neal. Here we see last round, Camp Jordan Arena. Logan, the real deal, Neil. Pat Crumpton. Five minutes away from deciding the lightweight title here at Aries. Logan Neal fighting like a man who knows that he needs something special. Oh. Logan looking to isolate that arm, set up that triangle again. Right in the corner of Neal here. Visually speaking, this has been the story of the fight, and it has been the story of a lot of Pat Crumpton's bouts. This is what it has looked like as he's made his tear through the Aries lightweight division here. And he's about four minutes away from, in all likelihood, taking home that title belt. Yes, right up over the top, right up over the top. And he'll be taking it back to Nashville. Which won't thrill the Chattanooga crowd, but it bears in mind that Aries will be in Nashville in August. As Logan Neal gets up and puts Crumpton against the corner when these strikes starts coming in, and this is when Logan turns it on. Oh my goodness. The crowd is going game. wild. This oh is exactly what Neal needs. Where was that? What was that? This is where Neal likes to be, is in that deep water of the last rounds. And we want to see that excitement one more time as we see Logan putting it towards Neal. What Josh said earlier is critical now. You gotta disengage here if you're right. Logan. Get out of here, stand back up. I know he's got you wrapped up, but you gotta slide out of here. Yep, and this is exactly what Pat doesn't want as Logan's trying to separate himself from this bad position. Now Logan's gotta dig under hooks. Yep. Well, for that brief moment, that flurry, Logan yeah. Neal looked as dangerous as he's looked all fight. Yep, and Pat knew he didn't want any of that and takes him oh, to the other corner. Knee. Big knee. Oh, 
Logan Neal contorting. And we see Pat knee. on the back of Neal. Pat having Neal in a very compromising position, hand fighting as Pat again. We have two minutes left here of the last round. There was a, a brief opening for Neil, but in the end, Crumpton just was one step ahead. Minute 40 left of this last round here. And Neil seeing what he can do here in the last minute. Yep. Crumpton. Crumpton's wrestling is unmatched here in this weight class in Aries. And Crumpton doing a good job of staying tight and staying on the back of Neil. After he survived Neil's flurry there, it's just been more of the dominant position and strong grappling. And 40 seconds left of this last round here. It's been hard for Logan Neal to find an answer for it. And it's been hard for Aries lightweights to find an answer for it. When Absolutely in there right. With Pat Crumpton. And Pat setting up a head and arm triangle here as the he's bringing it on almost like a outside gift wrap. At the very least, he's gonna finish the fight and mount it would appear. 20 seconds left. And this crowd on their feet for this fight. Ladies and gentlemen, a great, give great both bout of by these, these warriors. A hand, Excellent. one hell of a competitive main event. Well, this had moments where it was highly contested, but by and large, Pat Crumpton cruised behind the strength of his grappling the grittiness of his ground and pound. This was the nervous moment in the fifth. Logan turned it on. Absolutely. Just not enough of that, unfortunately. I think Logan doing a great job of coming off from a, a year of, of not fight, and I hope this doesn't take away from any plans that Neil has. I think he did great going this many rounds with Pat Crumpton, which no one else has been able to do. And I think that this is the opportunity that Neil needed to know that he is still in this game. And the opportunity is still there. Undoubtedly. I mean, it wasn't that Logan Neal lost the fight. No. It's that Pat Crumpton won the fight. And it is not official yet. We are waiting on the judges' scorecards. The body language kind of tells the story. Pat Crumpton, each time we see him, he improves. And that is scary because he's already championship caliber. A strong, athletic Pat Crumpton. Aries heads to Nashville in August. It looks like the lightweight title is headed to Nashville here in June. Yes. All right, Chattanooga, East Ridge, Tennessee. Before I get started, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this now. Fight of the night. Fight of the night. We make it official right now. Jeff Hobbs has got the scorecards. Ladies and gentlemen, this main event is going to a judge's scorecards. All three of your judges saw this about the same. 
5045 for your new lightweight professional Aries champion, Pat Crompton. A great showing from Pat Crompton. Pat said if he were to be victorious, he wanted to savor the victory as well he should. He's been working very hard, very active here recently for Aries. But you gotta wonder if in August, the allure of being a champion in your home city 